Fourth phase in the delivery I like to see is the block phase. The easiest analogy to use is a bike moving forwards and hitting a curb, sending a rider flying over the handlebars. When the bike's front wheel hits the curb, the curb exhibits a force on the wheel itself, but the rider's body continues moving forward due to inertia. We also see, due to the rotational nature of the wheel, torque is generated around the front wheel, causing the bike to rotate forwards. Due to this torque and the rotation of the bike, the rider can develop angular momentum and fly over the handlebars. Similarly, when the front foot hits, an external force is sent through the front leg, the pelvis decelerates and stops, while the trunk continues rotating and is accelerated through due to inertia. We're looking to maximize this lag throughout the pelvis, spinal segments, shoulder girdle, and arm in all three planes. Don't need to overcomplicate the block in terms of actively driving knee extension, just ensuring there's enough closed chain internal rotation, strength on the front leg, and ability to side bend on the block side. The block should just happen.